Hello, in this video, I'm going to explain and teach you how to open up a new instance of Excel and why you would want that feature. So right now I have Excel open and I would be doing all of my work and everything is great, but now suppose that I want to use Power Query and I also want to access Excel. Power Query is called modal, which means if I have the Power Query window open, I cannot click into Excel. It is frozen because I can only have Power Query active. So in that case, you might want a new instance. But forget about Power Query. Let's suppose that I have my Sheet 1 and I'm building a brand new report. But now I need to open up another report. Let's say it's a financial or a sales file. And it is huge. And that file, maybe it's unstable. It tends to crash or it just slows down Excel. In that particular case, you would be better off opening up the other huge file in another instance of Excel. So if the huge file crashes, this file, the one that we're looking at, will not crash because they're kind of like two different instances of Excel, the two different buckets, and they operate independently. So let me show you how to do that. It's actually quite simple. So what I have right now is just normal Excel, one instance with book one. I'm going to go ahead and add a new book in this same instance because I want to show you a couple of tricks later on. So I put them over here on the left. So book one and book two are in the same instance. But now I want to open up that huge file and I got to do a new instance. So what you do is you just go to the start menu. You can't see it, but there it is. And in Excel, you know, you might have to, you know, go down to where it says Excel or whatnot. But what you're going to do is before clicking Excel, you're going to press Alt and keep it pressed. So press it, I'm pressing the Alt key, and now you click on Excel and keep Alt pressed. You wait a little bit, and now this window shows up. Do you want to start a new instance of Excel? You're going to click on Yes. So there's the splash screen, and now I have Book 3 in a new instance of Excel. And this is book one and book two on that first instance. So here, if I wanted to open up that huge file, I'd go to file open and do all of the stuff over here in book three. And book one and book two don't get affected by what happens in book three. Now, there are some limitations and a couple of tricks that I'll show you about having two different instances. Number one, given that every file has its own little window, you can't easily tell which file is in which instance. I have positioned them, you know, for purposes of this video, so I didn't know that one and two are in one instance and three is in the other, but it's really easy to get confused. There's a couple of ways to find out which book is where, but the easiest one is if you go into one of the files, you go into view, and you go to switch windows. Now, one instance only knows the workbooks of its own instance. So I can see that book one and book two are in the same instance. And if I go to this view, I should only see book three. That is book three. So that's how you can tell which file is in which instance. Why does that matter? Because files that are in different instances communicate a little bit differently. Let's see what that means. Let me make this a little bit smaller so I can see instance one and instance two. I'm sorry, I misspoke. Book one, instance one. Book two, instance one. So let's, let's see, I, I'm gonna type in 42. I can copy from book one in the same instance down over here and I can do all of my paste special. Paste values, do all that good stuff because it's in the same instance so Excel knows what it's doing. The other thing that I can do is I can create a link. So instead of copying and pasting, I can just do equals and point to that book. So these communicate seamlessly. Between instances, the communication is a little bit different. Let's do uh, 1000. Now I'm going from instance two to instance one, either one, it doesn't really matter which one it is. I'm gonna copy, and now when I come over here, I can paste, 
but my paste special is different. I can't paste values. I'm going to click on it and you can see that I have this new window because it's a different instance and the, this receiving Excel doesn't know that it's coming from another Excel. The Excels aren't communicating. So I can paste it as a worksheet object and all that. You can get the data in there, but you can't get it like before where you just paste values, paste formats and values and all of that good stuff. The other thing that you can't do, you cannot create links from the windows. So instead of copying and pasting, if I wanted to link to this 1000, I could not do it. I press the equal sign and then I click over here. I It, it won't let me. If I notice how it's kind of frozen. If I come back, it's frozen. I can do it to this one in this instance because they're in the same instance, but I can't do it across instances. So that is one of the limitations that you have of having new instances in that there's a little bit more work to figure out which workbook is where and you can't link and you can't copy paste special values. But when you're dealing with very large files that tend to be unstable, this is a godsend because now you can keep them separate. And although this one may crash, it will not affect this instance of Excel. So I hope that helps and I will see you in the next video.